Hey guys, it's Casey, and this is going to be my October favorites, and sorry I keep on like looking there, this has shut off on me three times, so third time's a charm, so it shut off me twice. Uh, but this is going to be my October favorites, and I know it's super duper late, so I'm sorry about that, but oh well. <laughs> so I'm just going to jump right in. So today I'm going to actually start off with lip products, because I didn't really wear too much makeup, so the rest of it that's like in here is very neutral, like no makeup makeup looks. So the first thing is a lip product and this is my tinted lip conditioner in Petting Pink from MAC and I kind of didn't use these for a while like I have three of them I think and I didn't use them because I was like eh they're not that good but I've been using this a lot because I've like had really chapped lips lately so I've been wanting to get like moisture on them but then like I don't want to look dead and like no color so these just add a good like little bit of color and they're perfect. This product is a face product and this is actually a bronzer because I haven't like it hasn't been warm enough to tan and I haven't been self tanning I've been needing just a little bit of color just to kind of warm up my complexion so I've been using bronzer and this is my NYC smooth skin bronzer in sunny I love it I talk about it a ton um, it's just the perfect like matte bronzer and it's from the drugstore so that's even better the next thing like two things are eye products actually the next like lot are eye products and these two have been like my everyday makeup neutral eye no makeup and so the first thing is my MAC painterly paint pot I could not remember the name of it painterly paint pot and this is just a creamy like skin color nude base and I've been doing that all over the lid with max cork in the crease and I just do that to just kind of add a little bit of dimension and then I don't have to like actually have on eyeshadow but it's still just a little bit of something to not look so like I don't care the next two things are a pair and these are like my kind of like bright eyes pair and the first thing is benefits highbrow and I know what you're thinking you're like Casey that's a brow highlighter I've been using this on my waterline and I just line my waterline with it and it just brightens up my eyes because it's a nice kind of like pinky color and it's a matte color so it really just brightens up your eyes. But then on top of that because that looks so like stark white pretty much, I've been putting NYX's yogurt over top that just to kind of cancel out the whiteness and give it more of a champagne look and it's still brightening so that you look awake. But it's not too brightening where it's like, <sighs> what is wrong with her? The next eye product is a mascara and this is my Maybelline Illegal Length Mascara. I love this mascara and I think it's perfect for when you aren't really have a lot of makeup on, when you don't really have a lot of makeup on, and you just want to kind of define your like eyelashes a little bit more. This adds a little bit of length, not really like illegal length, but it adds a little bit of length where it's not, it adds length. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But I like it and it is just in black. And then the next two products are skincare products. And I have been kind of breaking out a little bit on my forehead, but overall my skin has been improving. So that's been good, but like the little things that I'm like, eh, like I kind of want those to go away. I've been trying to like combat and kind of subside. So I've been using two different things that have been helping. And the first one is my Clean and Clear Dual Action Moisturizer. And this is just a good moisturizer. And it has salicylic acid to treat and prevent like pimples and stuff. So I've been using that and it just kind of keeps away like little problems. And then the other thing that I've been using to kind of keep away these guys on my forehead. Because I don't really break out elsewhere other than my forehead and then like right there. I always get one right there and like go away but the perfect thing that I found to treat like those top ones is this and this is my advantage acne spot treatment I just put a little bit of this all over my forehead and it just like really like makes the little ones go away it doesn't really do that much for like bigger like pimples and stuff but it does for like little itty bitty spots that I'm just like go away you're annoying and so that's been perfect just to get rid of those like little clumps of like meh. Now, I don't really have a nail polish favorite for this month because actually most of the month I didn't have my nails painted. I know, I know you're thinking, Casey, you always have your nails painted. Who are we kidding? But I actually didn't. So, like, this is, like, the first time in, like, two weeks that I've had my nails painted. Ah! So, I don't have a nail polish favorite. And I think that's it for, like, beauty-related favorites. Now, on to song favorites. So, as you guys know, Taylor Swift's Red CD came out. And that has got to be, like my favorite and that's been all I've been listening to for this since it came out like I put that on shuffle I don't listen to anything else just that and so I love it and like I seriously think that Taylor Swift can do no wrong like 
All of her songs are absolutely amazing. I still think her Speak Now and Fearless CDs are better, but this one is still, like, fabulous. I love it. So a few of my favorite songs have been... have been my favorite songs off Taylor Swift's Red. I love that CD. What are your favorite songs from that? I know you're probably like tired of hearing about it, but then you're like, I love it. So let me know what your favorite songs are down below. Also, let me know what your favorites of the month have been. That is it for my favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys very soon. Bye.